postage stamp commemorates Sagamore Hill, President Theodore Roosevelt's home. Sagamore Hill, the rambling frame house at Oyster Bay, New York, once the most famous home in America, where national and international history was made by our 26th president, Theodore Roosevelt. He was born here in New York City in 1858. At the age of eight, he was a sickly, delicate youngster. Ten years later, Teddy was a student at Harvard. To build his health, he became a frontiersman. And for three years, a cowboy in the Dakotas. As a colonel in the Rough Riders, which he helped to organize during the Spanish-American War, he led the charge at San Juan Hill in Cuba, smashing the spirit of the Spanish defenders. At war's end, he was elected governor of New York. In 1901, at 43, he became America's youngest president, and later the first chief executive to fly. With a patriotic passion, he dynamically championed the American way. Now, from the most complete library of news films in the world, come unforgettable motion pictures of his later life. A month after leaving office, Teddy was on the high seas bound for Africa and the big game that stalks the dark continent. He spent 10 months among the natives on a dangerous jungle safari. Returning home, he found Europe drifting toward World War I. When America entered, he hurried to the White House to pledge his support to President Wilson in the critical days that lay ahead. Americans everywhere across the country joined in exciting, spontaneous tributes to the Stars and Stripes. The former president, tirelessly calling the nation to arms, toured the country. At giant Liberty Loan rallies, he pleaded for every American support and was joined by the immortal French actress, Sarah Bernhardt, fiery and vigorous at 72. For the old soldier, shown here visiting the famous Rainbow Division in training, wanted to do more. He volunteered to raise a division of his own and serve as its commander in Europe. The offer, however, could not be accepted. He received his setback graciously, continuing to tour American camps, stirring the troops that turned out by the hundreds of thousands to hear his voice. With the armistice, he returned to Sagamore Hill and the neighbors who dropped by often to chat. Teddy was never too busy to talk with them. From one of those talks, now being re-recorded from an old phonograph cylinder, you will hear the only record of Theodore Roosevelt's voice believed in existence. The soundtrack is at left, an actual photograph of his voice. Listen. I wish to see you boys that good citizens in the same way I'd expect any one of you to act in a football game. In other words, don't flinch, don't fall, and hit the line hard. For a quarter of a century, Teddy Roosevelt and Sagamore Hill symbolized a vigorous, bustling nation. Today, the house and the empty porch, with their many memories, are a national shrine, a place of pilgrimage for Americans who cherish the concepts of truth, justice, and courage to which Theodore Roosevelt offered a lifetime of devotion. In the sitting room, it seems only yesterday that tea was being served by the gracious Edith Kermit Roosevelt. The nursery, like all nurseries, remains cluttered with the toys of the late president's four sons and two daughters. There are teddy bears, of course, for the toy was named after the popular teddy with his official blessings. To the dining room downstairs came leaders of state during the seven years that Sagamore Hill served as America's summer White House. The silk bedspread was a gift from the Empress of China. And here is Teddy's shaving stand with brush and mud. The trophy room, his favorite room, the mounting board for the trophies of hunting expeditions and mementos of his strenuous life. 
Theodore Roosevelt, one of the most versatile men ever to become president, surveys the fruits of a lifetime of rich adventure and the amazing assortment of gifts showered on him by admirers the world over. Here, too, draped over the axle of his plane, is the flag from the grave of his youngest son, Quentin, killed in France in 1918. The Rough Riders ensign recalls the daring exploits of Colonel Teddy, a beloved figure. His many trophies attest to his matchless marksmanship as a big game hunter. Off the trophy room is the library, stocked with the books Teddy read unceasingly or wrote himself, and where he worked while at Sagamore Hill. Tirelessly he toiled at this desk until death in 1919 stilled his fighting spirit. But the rich legacy he left America lives on, the inspiring story of a frail, sickly youngster who made himself strong by determined effort and who dedicated his every energy to his country. On a stone nearby is Creed. Keep your eyes on the stars and keep your feet on the ground. The qualities of Theodore Roosevelt are the qualities which preserve our nation. Love for people, faith in life, and above all, love of country.